Hi, so in this video we're going to start talking about stratified sampling. Now if you have a look at um, mathsrap.co.uk there's a, a post on there that will talk a little bit about why we use stratified sampling. Um, and basically it revolves around if you're wanting to find out um, information that's representative of a group of people let's say that you um, want to find out how a thousand different people feel about a particular issue you might not have the time or the resources to be able to interview a full thousand so what you do is you take a sample of that thousand however you need to make sure that sample is representative of male and female and young people and older people and make sure that the group that you're sampling is representative of your sample overall. So on this particular question we have boys and girls within year 12 and year 13 and what the question is asking us to do is to carry out a survey of only 50 students out of those groups but to give us a number which would be a stratified sample so in other words representative of the um, uh, the fact that there are more boys and less boys in, uh, more boys in year 12 and less boys in year 13 or an equal number roughly an equal number of girls in year 12 and 13 so to make it so that it's representative of that overall amount I will write the question just below in the description or if you go to MathsRap that will give you some detail on there as well. Okay, so the sample that we're going to use is a sample of 50 students. So in other words, we've only got resources or time to be able to talk to 50, but we want to make sure it's representative of all of these students. Okay, and what they're asking us to do is to find out how many girls, um, and let's just check my notes here, um, girls in year 13 that should be used as a sample. Okay, so the, these kind of questions are usually given to you in a couple of different ways. Um, generally speaking, they're given to you usually as a graph or a chart or something like that. Now, sometimes there's bits of information missing. Um, in order to gain full marks on these questions, you need to be able to um, add the missing bits of information. And the most important bit of information that we've got within this that's missing is the totals, because we need to know how many people there are all together in years 12 and 13. So I'm going to put a little total um, column there, or row, and I'm going to add the number of boys in year 12 and year 13, and that's going to be 203. Similarly with the girls, I'm going to add that together, that's going to be 179. So in other words, within the whole grouping of year 12 and year 13, there are a total of 382 students. Okay, that's really important because the amount of girls that we're going to sample will be using uh, in year 13 will be, um, if I was sampling the whole 382, I would be looking at 85 out of 382 students. So in other words, um, if I had the resources available to do the whole year 12 and year 13 grouping, I would do the whole 382. And out of those, 85 of them will be girls in year 13. However, I've only got resources to sample 50 students. So in other words, it's going to be this fraction, but it's going to be out of 50 students. And the way we write that in maths is we might multiply. So it's this fraction, this, this one, out of 
50. Okay, and mathematically I'm going to write that as 85 over 382 multiplied by 50. Um, and if you use a calculator, that will calculate to um, 11.2. Obviously you can't have 0.2 of a student, so the approximate number of students would be 11. So within our 50 students that we're going to sample, in the group which is girls in year 13, we're actually looking to um, take a, a sample or a reference from 11 of those girls in order to make sure that all our ratios and our uh, fractions are correct. Um, I hope that's been okay. Um, if you have a look at uh, mathsrap.co.uk, that'll give you a bit more detail. Um, please do add a comment below and I will uh, get back to you. And also you can post or pin or tweet uh, this video. And um, I hope it's been useful to you and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.